Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today we're going to do something creative and a little bit of an experiment. Uh, I was thinking to myself, can we mix graffiti style and uh, make something look cute at the same time? I don't even know if that's possible, but you're about to find out. So let's go ahead and get started and see if we can uh, get some help from these colors. I'm thinking rainbows, pastel colors, and candy, uh, gummy bears, donuts, cake. So this is kind of what it's reminding me of. So I'm gonna use a lot of pastel colors and do uh, a very basic shape, um, two shapes like that, and uh, kind of apply a little rainbowish uh, idea behind that. And that's gonna be the background. All right, and this person loves uh, unicorns, so we're gonna see if we can apply a little uh, stylish unicorn effects to the letters, and I think this is gonna be a little bit interesting, and uh, we'll see how that comes out. So we're gonna apply a lot of white and try to get those letters to really stand out, and then after that, we're gonna find the edges and stylize it a little bit more. So as you can see, there's a little horn on the left side, and then we are, um, adding somewhat like a little tail of the unicorn there so we're going to then add of course a little pink So this kind of reminds me of like fuzzy boots, if you will. So this is why I'm putting a pink on the bottom. Of course, utilizing the pink anywhere else that I need it to be. And uh, this way we're not wasting paint. I think if unicorns were real, um, they would use these colors. Like it would look all mystical with like weird funky colors and, and I kind of see that being the case so I'm going to be using a little bit of blue obviously I added a little bit of white on there so to uh, make that a little little pastel and not too bright all right now it's time to uh, draw in the uh, outline and the background there and I did not want to use black because I thought it was too strong so I was trying to figure out what other color would be uh, similar uh, you know somewhat dark, but not so um, Dark as black so uh, I found out that purple was a pretty good color and uh, I went ahead and added a few layers of purple making that um, you know the letters really stand out All right, let's bring in the highlights trying to make everything pop make things pop a little bit more I'm gonna put some shadow on those letters and I'm gonna bring and utilize that uh, bluish color and just going around on the opposite side of the highlights and adding that color in there so I'm gonna utilize uh, opaque minty green if you will and uh, that's really gonna make that stand out against uh, the background After looking at this for a little while, I figured that the background was a little bit too plain and I wanted to do something um, more, but not too crazy where it's going to take away from the actual name. And uh, I was trying to put my finger on it and I, I couldn't figure it out until it, it kind of dawned on me. I'm like, man, I, I've seen these colors in a purse somewhere. But, uh, it had a whole bunch of like little, little letters. I, I think it was Louis Vuitton or something like that. So I figured, hey, I want to let's do a little bit of uh, pattern and shapes and stuff like that. I think it might look kind of cool. So right now I'm just randomly putting uh, shapes on there, and I'm gonna use a different color pen, and hopefully that really stands out. Thank you. 
all right and adding those shapes on there really made a difference and i really like how that came out kind of has that the girlish look almost looks like a purse but not really it's still graffiti style and uh just using you know pastel colors really made a difference and uh this was actually kind of fun and it was a little different from what i'm used to and, and now i know that utilizing certain colors certain patterns and techniques will change the look of the artwork so that's kind of cool uh, to know and to learn so all right so i think this is done let me know what you guys think of this particular one and we are out and getting ready to do the next one all right and there you guys have it hopefully you guys enjoyed this video uh it was kind of cool coming up with the uh the whole uh, color scheme there and it really came together at the end i thought it was kind of cool uh it's a little bit of uh both worlds something girly and cute but it's graffiti style at the same time uh so yeah i thought it was cool and uh yeah there's nothing else for me to say but hopefully you guys enjoy this video follow me in the description below i have a whole bunch of links that you can check out i got a website i got instagram uh you know i do all kinds of stuff not only just canvases apparel shoes hats uh anything that you can think of that could be branded or customized i want to go ahead and uh, help you work on your project so hopefully i'll see you guys in the next video and let's get going bye bye everybody